is also ranked in uh, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. I think Larry's pretty old too. He's like a year or two older than me. Man, you guessed right. I'm not. Don't say your age though. <laughs> don't say your age. <laughs> but you guessed right. You're actually right. Uh, Razo, he's a pretty, pretty decent young blood. I actually met Razo way back in the day at this actual esports arena when it was just brand new. Like it was all new here, and they used to have a tournament called Super Smash Sundays. And the side event was um, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, and the main event was Melee. And I met Razo there. Well, you know what? People will meet Razo here yeah, at Warner's Quarters. I think. When do we have Melee here? It's like on Thursdays. I don't know. Were wondering. I know they, they definitely have it here at the Sports Arena. Um, they used to have a, a tournament called Training Mode Tuesdays here. Oh no. But I don't know I don't if they have it. Bears. Good back air, nice. Yeah. He's able to put paper right towards the ledge here. I do like the fact that Raz is kind of playing a little bit of respect because he knows, like, the one thing Gamer Watch just kind of has is. A That's anticipated that down smash. He baited that out and hit it with a side beat. That was so it's a common it's a common option that we already see from all the game watches. Good trade, man. I'll, I'll hit you with the turn of end there. Yeah, why not, dude? Yeah. Spice. <laughs> somebody yelling no. <laughs> I was going to say, that's probably like somebody who like lost. Okay, yeah. <laughs> How does it say that? I haven't heard him talk that much. Turn up all nice. He's looking to see when people's gonna land. He's trying to force him out of the point. Under the turn up there. He low profiles when he dash tags. And yeah. that's one of those things Razo's actually really looking out for is when he's gonna get hit by people's up B, dash tag, up smash, things like up tilt, uh, any of those options there because that's the one thing Game Watch kinda has, right? Those really fast options to get out of disadvantage. Especially up B, come on, it's it's got some disjoint and you're kind of also hitting Peach as she's going above you. Yeah, and there's it's the trade-off we saw for going for those dash attacks mm -hmm. with Raza punishing him for it. Nice, using the downer to come back to the ledge here. Turn up high. Oh, uses the iframes on the uh, up B. There to get back. Doesn't matter because Raza's ledge pressure is crazy right now. So if I'm not mistaken, that tech where Game & Watch holds Bucket under the stage and like drifts a little bit forward, it's called Bucket Drifting. You basically get a small little drift from moving around with the Bucket when you're off stage. He's had bu Bucket Tech in like all of his games and all yeah. his games, I think, and it's all like slightly different. In this game, if your opponent does not have a projectile you can absorb, you reflect the item back. Yes. So the Bucket is not only an absorber, but it's also a reflector. Well, I think that was a good buff for Game & Watch because it's kind of a weird move that, that was situationally useful in only a few matchups. Uh, so it made the move a lot more helpful for him. Yeah, across the board, Bucket is pretty solid. Easily like one of the best <laughs> reflector project absorbers. Yeah, I see. Paper really wants these down smashes. It, it's really good because it causes a berry and if your opponent tries to mash out, you can either have enough time at higher percents to get the stock, or you can read your opponent's mash out and then go ahead for a follow up there. Yeah, yeah, the, the F smash definitely will kill from that. Just out everywhere else. Yeah. Up area. smash. Or up smash. Up smash would be better for Peach. Yeah. Depending on the situation. Okay, beer versus the bucket. I don't. Maybe it's going for something else there. It looked like some kind of Game & Watch that I've never seen, but I know. <laughs> more Taya, and definitely Raza will say more Taya, because I'll see ya with having no points. I'll get the first one here, 1-0. -oh. That's up to Raza. That's why I tell you, man, we do see him go for side the ledge a lot for reasons, as I mentioned earlier, right? It's safe on shield. Yeah, you cover the distance. You're, if your opponent is not shielded, they will get hit, right? And you can even go from the ledge and still have enough time to come back on the stage with side beat. So Raza, game one in his hands, paper. With a lot of thought going on. Uh, like you said, he went for a couple of down smashes. He went for one too many. That was the problem. Like, Raza was like, I don't need to be in the ground then if you're going to keep going for this option. All right, yeah, down smash is a great move uh, from Game & Watch. It's just like, and in most situations, it's not even that punishable, but Raza just did a really good job of pushing himself into position, anticipating when those down smashes were going to come out. Yeah. Yeah, so turnups are always good, even though the even though paper has uh, the reflector. 
know, it's still worth it for Razo to get it. Uh, you just get so much off of the turnups because you can still throw out moves uh, with your flow cancels mm -hmm. uh, and aerials. So, I, I feel like in a lot of matchups, just like, there's a lot of pressure on your opponents to uh, approach you if you're Peach or Daisy because those uh, turnups can really sway the match. Oh, no. Speaking of swaying the match here, I was going to sway himself away from Razo's down air. And yeah, that kind of caused Razo to go for an SD. He was a little too greedy, man. Oh. Okay, so gets a trade there. Uh, I th he upbeat out of shield, he still got hit, right? I didn't see. I didn't see the sudden animation. Maybe, uh, yeah, it was something that traded it. was kind of hard to tell. But yeah. But I, also, like, if, if a move is active, like, frame 12, it's not going to beat up. He just down his journey. Beat out the key with up smash there. Mm -hmm. Up smash has a small disjoint, and the key's like, yeah. Uh, it does. That's just really hard to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, that move's kill power is really strong. Yeah. Know? If you get the tipper of it. Oh, that's what Rosal got. It is, it is. Yeah. Um, Goes for up B once more. Wow. Looking like you were trying to bring this back here all from the up B. Carry this man across to the ledge here and the right kick. He's got him at disadvantage, but Rosal sneaks himself back in. Dancing with that down air. Almost hits him with the narrow. What a good change up to go for the low. Yeah, Paper had him in, in, in right, exactly where he wanted him, but Rosal just we, weaseled his way back to the stage. Yeah, I like it too. He missed up the pressure. He's like, you know, I won't even hit your nair on shield. I see that you're blocking normally. I'm going to go for a down tilt. Hopefully, I get a shield poke. Okay, game and watch. He's still going to make it back. Yeah. Right up what a call out. What a call out. He says you're, <laughs> you're going for it a little too much, my friend, dude. And you will get the call out. Just, he called out Nair, which again.